Uh, this is a, a 2022 Lincoln Aviator, um, and it's time to change the oil on it. Uh, this time, I'm going to use my Weber, Weber uh, oil sucker, oil extraction device. To and uh, I already used this uh, oil sucker to uh, do an, an Audi, and this time we're going to use it on the uh, Aviator. Uh, this time I'm going to try and do it manually. It's going to hand pump. Uh, this up to pull a vacuum to try and pull the oil out. So it shouldn't take too long, depending on how much pumping it needs, but we're going to find out. Uh, the aviator has uh, six quarts of oil, so I've got the oil ready, uh, full synthetic Quaker State, and um, got a, a MicroGuard uh, oil filter uh, that we're going to put in. So uh, because the oil filter gets changed on the top of this engine, uh, you don't have to crawl underneath it or jack it up and put it on the hoist if the oil sucker works well. So we're going to try and suck uh, six quarts of oil, and we're just going to see how well that works. But wait, there's a little bit of a spoiler alert that you need to be aware of. It does work very well. Um, it took about 15 minutes to uh, pump out the uh, oil from the car to get six quarts out, so it didn't take too long. And during that time, of course, you can change the oil filter. Um, one thing you want to be careful of is your oil cap, especially on the aviator. Be careful where you put it because uh, I set it on top of the engine and then I bumped it and it fell down. The aviator and a lot of cars these days have a belly pan underneath there, so the oil cap did not fall to the floor, it fell into the belly pan. So I still had to get the car up on the waist or you gotta crawl underneath there and take the belly pan loose to reach up in there and get your oil cap back. Um, other thing is uh, there is a trick to uh, making the manual pump work. Uh, it's not in the instructions. The instructions are right here for uh, step three for using it manually. And you can see it just says close the, uh, the blue valve and start pumping. And that's not quite true. There's a little missing step in there, and we'll get to that right away as we discovered. All right, so my lovely assistant, Carrie, is going to help me with this one. So, uh, Carrie, go ahead and pull the dipstick out. That's that yellow stick in the back there. And just lay that down on top of the engine there somewhere. Okay, and just push it down until it bottoms out. And don't don't force it. All right, so uh, pull the handle up a little bit so you can get access to this. Pull this plug out, oh. and this one's going to go in. And uh, you push this in. And okay. This pulled out a little bit too, so okay. to make sure it's all the way in, right? Yep. I, pull, right I pushed there. it back in. You but. did good. Okay. You can manually do this? Yes. So uh, last time I used the air, which created a vacuum to draw the oil in here. So this time we're just going to use this hand pump. <laughs> the first, uh, first, shift. first shift on pumping. So let's see how this goes. Have you done uh, this before? <laughs> Not hand, not by hand. We did it with the air. Uh, did it one time. So this time, make sure this uh, this little blue valve here is is shut, so it's at a right angle to this. Otherwise, that'll be a leak. Uh, there's a little valve here that relieves the vacuum on the side. Just for your information. So now we'll just start pumping. Ooh. Oh. Is it coming? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. I would expect I would have expected something. I see something by now. I see there's oil in there. Oh yeah. Let me see if it's actually pulling it's back. It just in. doesn't seem like it's I don't think we're drawing a vacuum, so there's no. something I'm missing. Air is coming out of here, so that's good. Air is coming out of here. <coughs> well, see if it's. Put your finger here. What do you need? Take this off. Oh yeah. Put your finger there. Is it sucking in here? I mean, I 
can't feel it. You would know by now. Yeah, no hang. Nope. Don't feel anything. What about, does this need to be, this is solid? That's solid, yeah. yeah. Well, why would they have a... See, this has got a venturi, so when you when you blow air through here, it uh, goes through this. This is where the air is supposed to come out. There should be a... The air is coming out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. So, I mean, that's good, right? Because you want the air... To come out somewhere, yeah. Right. But here, look. Oh, so that's suctioning. Oh, it's coming. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, you have to cover this? Wait, put this here then. No. No? Oh, well. Yeah. You try that. I mean, it fits perfectly. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> we got it right here. Yeah. You can hear it running in there now. So now is it going to do it by itself? Well, as long as there's a vacuum on there. There's no gauge to tell you how much of a vacuum you're drawing. It is getting harder to pump, so right, it must so be pulling it. A, yeah. You can hear it. So you can hear it. So Put as long as it's draining. Yeah. The oil filter is still here. I've got my uh, 27 millimeter socket to get that off. I've got a wobble extension in here to get past this um, brace. So it pulled the cap off, and there's the filter. I've got a couple O-rings to change, these two here, and this one here on the end, and that came with the oil filter. Can you still hear it running? It was slowing down, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I got the uh, I got the little O-ring on. That one was pretty tough to get over the end of this, but uh, use a little small screwdriver. It came off easier than it went on. Then the uh, bigger O-rings, we slide those on. I'm gonna put that one into the first groove, and we'll take this one here. And Kind of roll that over past the first o-ring into the second groove. Make sure you put a little film of oil on all three of the o-rings before you put them on so it makes it a little slippery to handle but uh, that helps the, the seal. Why wouldn't you put the first one all the way down to the bottom and then <laughs> because, the second one on top? Well because you'd have to get it past the first groove and if it falls in the first groove oh, then you out. have to get it out of the groove. Ah, gotcha. So you fill the first groove up and then the second o-ring can pass over that first groove uh, much easier. All right, so I'm going to drop the uh, oil filter in there first. That kind of fits on a little pilot down in there. It stands up. Then I'll put the cap on. You kind of wiggle that in. Okay. And it should thread on very easy until the first O-ring touches. Then it gets a little tough. And that's when we get our socket and ratchet out again. And you don't have to over-tighten this. I don't know what the torque spec is. If I find it, I'll let you know. But uh, it's not going to come loose. So the oil filter's in. Maybe halfway done. Yeah, it looks like it. Let me check, make sure this is still in all the way. 
It is, like you can see the oil recede if you don't keep pumping it. Oh yeah. Not regularly, but like you gotta keep, you gotta keep. Keep up on it. Keep up on it, otherwise it really slows down. Yep, you can see that it's right here. Shining the flashlight in there from the side. So six quarts, we're expecting it to go a little bit above this rib here. Just above, the, just above the five liter mark now. Now, one of the keys to uh, that's not in the instructions, or I missed it, is that the cap that comes out of this hole, we put that over the. You're good. We put that over this. I'm going to call it the, the chrome muffler, and it seems like when you're pumping, uh, that that's a leak source. So you have to just slide this cap over the muffler. Make sure the muffler is screwed on snugly so that's not an air leak. Make sure that this blue valve is perpendicular to this, otherwise this will be an air leak on this side. And we can still hear it running in there. When you pump it, the air is coming out of these uh, little vent holes on each side of the handle. That's where the air is coming out to draw a vacuum. And that's what you hear is the air rushing through this, uh, past this blue screen. And I can hear it starting to suck air. Mm -hmm. You can see it. You can see the air in the, oh yeah, the uh, air line now is, or the oil line is uh, dry. And it's right here, so that's about where I would expect it to be for six quarts. So now we got a hose that's uh, kind of full of oil, not full, but it's got some res residual oil that you can't really get out of this tube. Uh, but we're going to unscrew this. It unscrews the opposite way of what you would think. So here you can see the cap in this muffler. So that's where the cap goes. It fits right on the inside of the cap. Just unscrew it a little bit and the hose comes off and just hold both ends up when you pull that out. Careful it'll whip, whip out on you when you uh, it still t apparently it still takes two people to do an oil change. Very good. Okay, so the oil cap is right here. Yeah. We're gonna unscrew that. And for reference, the oil filter is right here. You can't see it in the camera, but it's right down below here. So we'll put a funnel in here. This is this uh, brace that goes from the, call it the shock towers. It's uh, a little awkward to get a funnel in there or to get the filter out. So we'll start by pouring the five quart container in there. And as most of you know, the uh, five quart jugs usually have an oil indicator level here. Right, right up here just above uh, four quarts, so I'm going to take it down to uh, three quarts, so I get one quart out of here. That's about right. Okay, let's go ahead and start it up. Okay, shut it off. Biscuits. Damn it. It's full now. Huh. I was going to reach out and grab that dang thing. 
Because it did sound like it went to the floor. Yeah, it did, I thought. No. No? It sounded like it hit a plastic tray. So the uh, Lincoln Aviator is gone, and uh, that oil change was done. Of course, I had to get underneath it to uh, recover the oil cap. And uh, just as a reminder, this is the cap that uh, plugs that hole when this isn't in use. And when you unplug it and you want to use it manually, you have to put the cap on here. If you're going to use air, then you don't put the cap on there because that's where the air blows through with the Venturi effect to create a vacuum in here. But when you're manually pumping it with the, with the hand pump, put this cap on there. And the last step on all this, I'm going to put it on, put the cap on there just to keep it from getting wet, is to uh, put the, pour the oil out of it. And we're going to pour that right here in this five gallon jug. And with that, I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next video.